under the dome tonight. MLB The Show has baseball from Tropicana Field. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Oakland A's and the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays baseball comes your way next. Brendan McKay, a Pennsylvania-born lefty, gets the ball to start here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So Elvis Andres, the next to bat. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. He obviously found a great feel for that breaking ball while warming up before the game. Leadoff hitter getting two curveballs is usually not the norm. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Next, it'll be Jed Lowry as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. So now here is Matt Chapman. And check out the recent numbers. Clearly providing a lot of thump at the plate right now. In there at the knees, strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, Dero. Through five games okay. of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. One, two, three, go the A's. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. Paul Blackburn, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher. Only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitch. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in counts. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. Margo. Ball one. Help, and Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Matty, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, Dero, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to beat the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Yandy. Diaz. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room yep. may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Tried to get oh, him to go after the count. slider, but it's 1-2. and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Again, a 1-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That is good. 
And now, Austin Meadows. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey! Swing and a miss, oh, and two, things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Started to go around there, but he holds up two. ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a line drive. Go on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We are still scoreless. Ball set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the big-time power threat, Matt Olsen. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Behind 0-2 now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And that will bring in Ramon Laureano. No balls and a strike to count. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. McKay is a strikeout master on the mound. It will not be uncommon to see him reach a double-digit strikeout total when he goes out there. He uses that to his advantage in just about every start. He sure does, Matty. And I think one of the keys for him is he gets ahead in the count early. You'll know if he's on when he gets strike one, strike two early on, and then he expands the zone, has great command of his pitches, and has a knack for making hitters chase pitches out of the strike zone. And there's out number two. So two out, nobody on. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Now here's the first offering. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Very high, two and one. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. The A's are gone in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Striding in is Brandon Lau. He went deep last night twice. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball inside. The 1-0. Down low, two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. That is good. Next to hit, Randy Rosarena. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 
A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is. The throw is wild, and it gets away. That is it. That's it, Mike Brasso digging in at the plate. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. He's set and the pitch. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at 1 1. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Slow roller down the third baseline. Oh, that's but a foul ball, one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch on. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Grounded down the third baseline. Oh, yeah. This will get fouled, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Second home run early in the year as the Rays move in front now, two to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. G Man Troy, the next to hit. This one is smashed down the right field line. That's going to stay fair, and it's going to be back to back home run. Solo shot down the line in right. Home run number five on the year as the Rays have opened up a 3 nothing lead. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. So now to the plate, okay. Francisco Mejia. Yeah. And the nope. first pitch ball misses one. to him, it's ball yeah. one. Ball one, no play. Ball two. two balls and no strikes. Well, I think he just kind of lost nope. focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way. And, He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Outside, 3-0 and now. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. 
He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Here it comes, the 3 0. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. We got three balls and two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. A that lot of done. indecision there on that check swing, and that's something that's you see there. quite a lot on three and two. Oh, when yeah. the difference between striking out and drawing a walk and can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Kevin nope. Kiermeyer is at the plate as he nope. looks at ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. High fly ball out to deep right field. Piscotti has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We play two full. Tampa Bay leads this one three to nothing. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Third inning underway now as a curveball misses here to start things out. It's 1-0. and I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel yep, for his off-speed stuff. Two and one to count. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Two two pitches fouled away. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Got Set it, to get his evening at the plate started. Aramis Garcia trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Yeah. Curveball looked at here for strike one. A's still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game. Behind 0-2 now. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's. They trail in this one, three nothing. We're back now as the Rays are preparing for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season. To start the day, they are ranked among the league leaders in both home runs and slugging percentage. I asked some of the hitters about their approach prior to the game, and they told me it's all about pitch selection. They trust in their talent, so as long as they're picking on good pitches to hit and not getting anxious to swing the box, they know that will translate into a lot of production. Certainly seems to be working for them this year, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Manuel Margo is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the no early ball, goings of this right. game, and they've got the lead looking for more. 0-2, oh here it comes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. 
pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. To the plate now, Yandy Diaz. As he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Boy, talk about frustrating as a pitcher, Giro. The pitch before that, that was some kind of a funky swing. And then he delivers a face hit on the next pitch. Yeah, that's the name of the game right there. Did he take a bad half? Or was he setting you up? Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. And the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 1 here in the early going. Pulled the string and had him way out in front. The ball and a strike. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee. Try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least bell high. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. He's set. Here's the 2 2. We got full count. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He takes three. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The batter, Next eight. will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. First offering. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Pitch popped up. Andres over to his left. And that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. But they lead it 3 0. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still Moving looking for the their athletic. first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustment. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So up until this point, they've had to bite and scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. Here's Jed Lowry now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 0 and 2 the count to Jed Lowry. Lowry, a native Oregonian. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. So he records his fifth strikeout there. Jed Lowry goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. One ball, no strikes to count. Here comes the 1 0. This is just fair as it'll hug the line and head for the right field corner. The run scores from second. It's now a 3 to 1 ball game. The relay, and he is in there with an RBI triple. 
That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hand back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. Matt Olson stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Hit hard on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Runners at the corners here with one gone in the inning. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Heading after it is Margo. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a three to two contest. Always yeah, productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right yeah. there drives home the second run of the inning. So the next to bat will be Mark Canna grounded out in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. There's a strike at the knees. 0 and 1. Olsen, the runner at first with two gone. Off the plate, Outside, one ball. ball, one strike. Ani pops it up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Still a ball and two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors and a runner left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Rays are out. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. For the Rays. Now at the plate, here is Randy Rosarena. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matt. He almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. So now to the plate, Michael Brasso. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bats. So and there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Base hit, line drive into the corner. Running hard, he's digging for second. Man, that's surprising, Dan. This guy's flailing at stuff in the dirt and above his head to get to two strikes in many ways in the cook. Oh, you would think after throwing two pitches out of the zone that he would triple up and throw a third one either up, down, or in and out, but that one right in the middle of the strike zone. Into the box, G-Man Chorn. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And a pitch up and in, keeping him on his one and one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Swing and a line drive. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And the run is in to score from second. It's four to two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up 
when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Francisco Mejia batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early leads, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Looks like a right-hander's got enough to throw now in the Oakland pen. Oh, and two, here it is. Baseball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Kevin Kiermaier is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. Choi stands at second with two gone. out in front of home. Rolanda Olsen will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. On a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We played four and Tampa's taken a four to two lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the ace hitters to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at. So the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off with the athletic. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. On one. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one down, no one aboard. And up next, the ever versatile Chad Pinder. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one, no strike. Four two, our score here as we play inning number five. Two and zero, oh the count to the ace left fielder. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Over at the knees, and that's the second two strike. Balls, two strikes. Still even at two and two. Full three count two. now, three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this one is gone, a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Second home run early in the year as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. There's an old saying in the game. They say solo homers won't kill you. This might be a good time for a mound visit right here. Try and erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone. You still have the lead. Into the box now, Aramis Garcia. Yes, he'll take a bold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw, and he's pulled out on a close play at first. Stepping in once again is Elvis Andrews. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. High in the air out to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, and the inning is over. But 
not before they answer back here with a solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up, the Rays four and the A's three. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Marco. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. It's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Behind 0-2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. I got to count one and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. At the plate now, Yandy Diaz. Swing and a liner. But this lands foul for the first strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he checks got? his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope, and the there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Swing and a soft liner. Will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder tucked, and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in the center field. At the plate, Austin Meadows. In the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. Double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And off the open. The second base. Dead. Here's the first pitch. One fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now a flare out toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Oh, He's working on a one-for-two game so far. A ball and a strike oh, to count to Matt Chapman. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And oh, there's ball two time. now. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Oh, hold on. What a stop. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good power curveball there, and he's in control 0-2. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. 
into the windup and the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And he will make the catch just shy of the track and the inning is over. A's go quietly there. They still trail it here four to three. Your Sergio Romo enters to do the now pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 54, Sergio Romo. So now it'll be the and four hole hitter, Brandon Lau. The second base. Now here's the first offering. Here's a fly ball well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now here's Randy Arena. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the A-B now. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Yanked hard down the left field line. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the change up. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. And that's not always easy to do. Michael Brasso will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. First offering. Now it's one and oh. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, he was in complete control of that at bat from beginning to end as that last one's waved at and missed for route number two. Classic slider First down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. The catcher, number 28. Next, it'll be Francisco Mejia to we'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. What a grade school swing there. It's one and one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. A Rosarena on second. Choi on at first with two down. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Mm -hmm. Here's the one two. That ball two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Even a two and two. The pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Rays strand a pair, and it remains a 4-3 game. Now 
Michael Walker is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start heading number seven. Number 52. Michael Walker. Seventh inning ready to roll. Digging in now, Ramon Laureano. First pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. The count is 1 and 2. Chopped weakly to the left. The one two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. He's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And that misses one and one. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting the right fielder, Steven Piscotti. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A ball and no strikes. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Count now a ball and a strike. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Two out, nobody on. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. A's are gone in order. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Lou Trevino will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Standing in, Kevin Kiermaier. For the red, the center field, Kevin Kiermaier. Now the first pitch. Low with a fastball one here. In the dirty, it's ball one. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Chapman is under it and that's the first out of the inning. So Tampa's batting order turns over. Set to go. Manuel Margo struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Count one and oh. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. 
two and one after the foul ball there. Aye. Two and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz. And so watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. And he fouls this one off. Hey. A strike two as it catches the outside corner. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Three and two now. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Now at the plate, Chad Pinder, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Now the 2 0 home. Everyone relax. Not a fastball right there. Obviously a little arm side run. He missed his spot. No big deal. Hey. Taking all the way that time. It's three and one. When you're hitting at the bottom of the order, you better be keyhole in the middle of the plate. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Stepping in next, Aramis Garcia. First offering. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Well, this is where the manager makes his money right there. Nice at bat. Yeah. Now it's a question of whether or not he pinch runs. Dan, as a pitcher, did it make you a little nervous when a guy had jets on the base pass? Oh, no doubt about it. This is a, this is a very difficult spot. You're one hit away from getting right back into this game and tying this game up. You're going to have to really think about putting somebody on first that might be able to score a ball in a gap. Garcia is digging for home. He scores, and the A's have tied it. It's a 4-4 game. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base yeah. hit to tie things up, right. that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. To the plate now, Jed Lowry. And he'll take a change up here for strike one. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. Nope, I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. 
The safe. The throw was offline. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Hey, putting together a good at-bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at-bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Jake Deakman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 35. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, Austin Meadows. on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. one -oh count. Here it is. Down the left field line and deep. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Bouncer up the middle. First move to these Andrews, and it's in time, one away. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. His past history with Jake Diekman. He's hitless in three at bats. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's down off the shoot tops, one and zero. One out, nobody on. I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. That ball Two and one. Wow, kind of an Two interesting one. pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him now, when the swing but came but through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy Rosarena. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging the bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field stand line a lot. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning of this season. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed strike one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out oh, to the left side. Down low, two, two balls, balls and a strike. A Rosarena is off a first with two away. All even now, two and two. Center and over the head of the shortstop, Andrus hits a base hit. And this throw gets away from him. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid. Next, here is G Man Choi. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. 
trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Off the plate, Here's a left. sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Ready with the 1-0. Oh. Ball left outside. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-0 pitch. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And it's fouled away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He's got it. And the oh. inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Ray strand a pair. And the deficit holds at five to four. to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Olson. And right into the shift. Scooped up and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now to the plate here is Ramon Laureano. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Oh, and this down. is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And that's He's the down. second out. So now it's Mark Hanna. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch hey. on its way. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the attack. Get a guy on first base. You never know. You get something going and string a few across. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. So now to the plate, Steven Piscotti, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And he gets him to swing through that oh, one, he's in control, 0-2. Hey, last pitch was 94, then you pull a string, 13 miles an hour slower right there. 81 miles an hour, you get guys in a rocking chair, when you can add and subtract like that. And another foul ball. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Kiermaier to the track, and he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time, and the side is retired. The A's strand one. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Your Trevor Rosenthal please. enters the game now to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. 41. Francisco Mejia will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Now the pitch. Fouled away. out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts so the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league Saints leaders entering play and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department now in the box Kevin Kiermaier he was retired after popping out in his last at bat yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. 
Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. The next 0 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught oh, way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Oh. Into the box, Manuel Margo. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 1 0. He swung on, missed in that strike one. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Two one home. Swing high drive left field and deep, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And a wide throw as this one gets by him at the bag. And he's in safely at third as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So that'll go to the books as an E six, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Next up is Yandy Diaz. And he might very well get four. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Lays off there. one and oh. Hey, this pitcher's gonna have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. And it's one and two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Now the one and two pitch. Swing a ball hit on the ground. Him out. A huge punch out there, and the winning run stays anchored third with two gone now. And out of bat, Austin Meadows. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. Oh. That misses, oh, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fuck. That will have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And up next, the ever versatile Chad Pinder. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. 
swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. On the first, and it's a very quick start to the tenth. Already two away here. So a runner at second, two down now, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. And that's through into center field, base hit. Barrera rounds third and is striding for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Diego Castillo takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 63, Diego Castillo. In now, Jet Lowry. Swinging a hard hit ball down the line in right. That gets down and the inning will continue. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Standing in now, Matt Chapman. As he hits one on a line to left field. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. So now we'll see if Luis Barrera will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field, number 13, J.B. Wendelkin takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this April. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. Off the plate, one ball, one, one, strike. Ball, one strike. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Ball, one and strike. this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move, and they can't run it down. Again, he sends it out of play. Full count now, three and two. Randy Rosarena, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And it's now an 8-7 ball game. Talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Now back. At the plate, Randy Rosarena as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. The Rays find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? 
Yeah, Matty V, this, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, well, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Into the box now, Michael Brasso. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. Here's the 0 1. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. A two-run shot to straightaway left, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Walk off. Hey, when you get to extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, the heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. one nine to eight at the end of the game in this one the Tampa Bay Rays get the win on the heels of four home runs Diego Castillo earns his third win of the year in relief so that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney and our whole crew on Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more head to the show.com <laughs> The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays, nine runs on 15.